Hey there, folks. Ever wondered the secrets to a happy relationship? Now that I know I have your attention, let's talk about the old adage, happy wife, happy life. While being optimistic is important, some days it may seem like no matter what you do, you never achieve the ultimate goal, a happy partner. But before we hit you with the deets, subscribe for more information on the subjects you are so inquisitive of. Welcome to the deets family. Now let's discuss what you should be doing every day to grow a happy and healthy relationship. Can't make your partner happy? Wondering how to build a stronger bond? Don't you effing boof! Here come the deets. Number one, openly communicate. Now we all understand how frustrating it can be to listen to your partner whine, especially when it's about you. But this type of communication can be the reason that a relationship succeeds or, in turn, fails. Now obviously there is a line here that you'll have to set on your own, but not allowing your partner to express themselves is a recipe for failure in a significant relationship. Maybe it's a tough day, a bad boss, an unruly friend, it really doesn't matter. If your partner is bothered by it, it automatically becomes important to be able to openly communicate that frustration. It's not all bad though. An open line of communication leads to a stronger bond and in turn, a more meaningful conversation. Do you surprise your partner with a night out? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Leave a comment below and start a conversation with the Dietz family. Number two, explore shared interests. What does that even mean? While not everybody loves everything their partner does, they do share interests. If you can pick one thing a day that you and your partner love to talk about, do together, or even watch, you'll be well on your way to a happier and healthier relationship. It's no secret that we can sometimes get wrapped up in our own lives. But focusing on things you both love shouldn't feel like a chore to either of you. Your shared interests are one of the main reasons you're together in the first place. Number three, talk to each other during the day. Sometimes the worst days can be made tolerable by a simple text. I know it doesn't seem like much, but to your partner, it's a big deal. We forget that in the infancy of our relationship, a simple call during the day to see how your partner is doing is normal. But as the days go on, this enthusiasm fades. Reiterating this as a priority can create a stronger relationship. If you feel like your relationship isn't as strong as it can be, then grab the phone and check in. You need to subscribe. Did it work? No, but seriously, join the Deet family and never miss a video on the subjects that have puzzled you for your entire life. Maybe. Number four, don't just be present for the big moments. Life is made of moments, big moments, small moments, even moments you don't even consider important. Many people have a tendency to wanna to be there for the big moments, but often aren't there for the small things that happen every day. I hate to break it to you, but the little moments, the ones you don't consider important, is how you grow a close bond with the ones around you. If you're skipping dinner with your partner every night, I doubt you're going to make it very far in that relationship. Being there for the small moments is what makes the big moments beautiful. Rome wasn't built in a day. Number five, do chores together. Nobody likes chores, but you'll hate them half as much if you share the load with your partner. Now, to be clear, we don't mean that you should dump all your work on your partner. That won't make you close, it'll make you single. We mean doing the tasks together. Sharing the work that benefits you both and working together towards a shared goal can create a closer partnership based on mutual respect. So get out there and scrub some toilets or paint the barn. I don't know, maybe they farm. But before we continue, let me offer you a side dish. Take a peek at our video on 10 laws of karma you can't live without. Maybe there's something else you want the deets on. Let us know down below in the comment section. Now back to 10 things to do every day to grow your relationship. Number six, compliment each other. Remember when you first got into your relationship and everything your partner did was so amazing? You were grateful to be part of this new relationship and fawned over everything they did. Everything was incredible. Well, down the road, that fades. Whether it's apparent or not, it happens to all of us. But recognizing your partner for who they are and what they do can build a stronger bond between the both of you. Don't ever forget that you are your partner's closest friend and what you say matters to them and vice versa. Number seven, laugh together. Laughter is the best medicine. I'm sure you've heard that before. Having a similar sense of humor shows that you both view the world in the same way, which will make your relationship stronger. The next time you feel inclined to laugh it off, just know that there's a science behind it. It's always a good choice. Number eight, show appreciation. The more you feel appreciated, the more you learn to appreciate your partner. 
In reverse, if you appreciate your partner, it helps them appreciate you. Being appreciative is not only important for a great relationship, it's important for a fulfilling and happy life. Think about it this way. When you go to work and your boss tells you everything you've done wrong every day, are you more or less likely to go the extra mile for them? The answer is simple. Those who are appreciated tend to work harder for their partners. So, view your partner in a more positive light and show them you appreciate them every day. Well, if you want to build a stronger relationship. Number 9. Resolve your arguments the same day. Never go to bed angry. We've all heard it, but we've all likely gotten into arguments that we felt so angry about we've decided to drag them out for days, maybe even weeks. Sometimes we argue over things that truly don't even matter in the grand scheme of things, but they feel like they matter in the heat of the moment. A little inner dialogue will tell you that your relationship with your partner is way more important than whether or not they left the dishes in the sink or didn't take out the trash. Get on the same page with your partner before you go to bed. Arguments become resentments, and resentments can hurt your relationship. Number 10. Say, I love you. Though it seems like an obvious thing, it becomes lost in the day-to-day -day shuffle of what can seem more important. Sometimes just those three words can make your partner feel closer to you. No matter what's going on, they can count on you to feel loved and protected from everything that goes on in the world. Saying I love you is again one of those things that seems like it happens all the time, but fades as your relationship takes a back seat to the pressures of life. Remember to tell your partner you love them every day if you want to build a stronger relationship. Without a happy home life, it's impossible to be ready to focus on what's going on in the real world. What if following some simple rules of karma could help you succeed? Here, let me hit you with the deets. Watch the 10 laws of karma you can't live without. Or get inspired with the evolution of the shoe. Come on now, click one and get the 411 on all your favorite brain-bending subjects. Do you have a great relationship? Tell us why in the comments. And that's the deets.